Hi friends, uh, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity. Examine the ARP table. We will uh, go through the objectives. Um, in part 1, we will examine an ARP request. In part 2, examine a switch MAC address table. And in part 3, examine the ARP process in a remote communications. Here is the background. Uh, this activity is optimized for viewing PDUs. The devices are already configured. We will gather PDU information in simulation mode and answer a series of questions about the data we collect. Right, this is what we are going to do in this uh, packet tracer activity. Uh, we will come to part one first. Examine an ARP request. So in that step one, generate ARP request by pinging 172.16.31.3 from 172.16.31.2. Right, this is what we are going to do now. Uh, click 172.16.31.2 and open the command prompt. Enter the ARP space minus D command to clear the ARP table. Then enter simulation mode and enter the command ping 172.16.31.3. Two PDUs will be generated. The ping command cannot complete the ICMB packet without knowing the MAC address of the destination. So the computer sends an ARP broadcast frame to find the MAC address of the destination. Right, we will come to this now. Yes, we have to go to 172.16.31.2. Yes, here it is. Right. We are going to desktop. Command prompt. Oops, this is terminal. Command prompt, right. Here we are going to clear the ARP table. Uh, so the, we have to give ARP minus D. Then we are going to press enter. Right. Now we will go to uh, simulation mode. Okay. Here, now we are in simulation mode and we are going to ping to 172.16.31.3 that means uh, we are going to ping from this PC to uh, this PC right we are going to give a ping yes 172.16.31.3 yes now we are going to press enter Yes, here we can see here are two PDUs uh, uh, generated. Uh, we will check these uh, PDUs. So here we can see this is uh, ICMP and this is ARP. So before uh, sending this ARP, uh, we, they will be sending this uh, ARP for getting the MAC address. Great. Now we will go to uh, D. Click a capture or forward once. The ARP PDU moves the switch to 1 while the ICMP PDU disappears, waiting for the ARP replay. Open the PDU and to record the destination MAC address. Is this address listed in the table above? We will verify that now. Now we will uh, click capture or forward here. And we can see that ICMP PDU is uh, disappeared and uh, uh, this ARP uh, now uh, went to a switch. Now we are going to open this uh, PDU ARP. Here we will verify uh, the destination MAC address. Here we can see the given FFFF dot FFFF dot FFFF. And this address is uh, uh, specified in this addressing table no it is not specified obviously it is uh, this address is a uh, broadcast uh, address next is uh, click capture or forward to move the PDU to the next device how many copies of the PDU did switch one make right we will verify that we are going to click on capture or forward again here we can see three copies made. Here we can see one goes to router, one goes to 31.3 and another goes to 31.4. So total we got uh, uh, three copies of the PDU. Now we will go to the next question. Uh, what is the IP address of the device that accepted the PDU? Here we can see th these two uh, PDUs are uh, uh, not accepted by these devices. 
and uh, here we can see 172.16.31.3 is accepted the PDU. Next is open the PDU and examine layer 2. What happened to the source and destination MAC addresses? Right, we will verify that. Here is our PDU and uh, here we are going to verify that. Yes, here we can see uh, the source became destination. Previously, uh, this was the source uh, address, FFFF. -F -F -F. So, it became a uh, destination and uh, that FFFF, -F -F, that means the source address turned into MAC address of 172.16.31.3. Here we can see that 000c.85cc.1da7. Next is uh, click capture or forward until the PDU returns to 172.16.31.2. How many copies of the PDU did the switch make during the ARP replay? Right, we are going to click capture or forward. So it goes back to switch and again capture or forward. Here we can see it replay with only one PDU. Uh, to this uh, our device 172.16.31.2 uh, from our switch. Now we will come to uh, step 2. Examine the ARP table. Note that the ICMP packet uh, reappears. Yes, here we can see that uh, this is ICMP. I am going to keep the cursor on that so that we can see. Yes, it's ICMP. Correct. Now open the PDU and examine the MAC addresses. Do the MAC addresses of the source and destination align with their IP addresses? Yes, we will cross check that. Coming to this ICMP PDU. Yes, here we can see that. So the MAC addresses of the source and destination align with their IP addresses. Now we will come to uh, B. Uh, switch back to real time and uh, ping completes. Uh, click 172.16.31.2 and enter the ARP minus A command. To what IP address does the MAC address entry corresponds? Okay, uh, we will verify that now. Uh, we are going to real time mode so that our ping completes. Yes. And now we will come to the device 172.16.31.2. And command prompt here we will give a RP minus A. Right. And here we can see uh, it corresponds to 172.16.31.3. Here the last question. In general, uh, when does an NT device issue an ARP request? So obviously an end device uh, uh, when uh, it does not know the receiver's MAC address then he will send an ARP request. Now we will come to part 2. Examine a switch MAC address table. So in that step 1 generate additional traffic to populate the switch MAC address table. So from 172.16.31.2 Enter the ping 172.16.31.4 command. Then click 10.10.10.2 and open the command prompt. Enter the ping 10.10.10.3 command. Then how many replies were sent and received? Okay, we will verify this now. First we will come to 172.16.31.2 and we will ping to this PC 172.16.31.4. Alright, command prompt. Here we are going to give a ping 172.16.31. Oops, yes, 31.4. Center. Right, so we are getting the replay. Now we are going to ping from this uh, laptop to this laptop. Coming to this laptop, command prompt and here we are going to ping 10.10.10.3 and we are getting the replay. Here we can see uh, the packets are sent for and uh, received for. Now we will come to uh, step 2. 
Examine the MAC address table on the switches. Click switch 1 and then the CLI tab. Enter the show MAC address table command. Do the entries correspond to those in the table above? So we will uh, cross check that now. Coming to switch 1, CLI. Yes. Here we are going to give the show command. So we have to go to privileged exit mode. Show. MAC address table and here we can see the details. So we have to cross check with our uh, address table. Here is our addressing table and we are going to verify this address. Here we can see the address starting with the 0, 0, 2. Yes, here we can see that. Yes. And 0, 0, C, 8, 5, C, C. Here we can see that this is uh, uh, device 172.16.31.2 and uh, here we can see that 00 e0 yes here it is this is the interface uh, of uh, router 1 yes next is uh, click switch 0 then the CLI tab enter the show MAC address table command do the entries correspond to those in the table above we will cross check that coming to switch 0 CLI and here enable and we are going to give a show MAC address table and here is the MAC addresses we are going to verify with our addressing table yes here it is 0 0 1 here we can see obviously we can see here it is and 0 0 6 0 to F84, yes, here we can see that. And 00604706572B, yes, here it is. Now we will come to the last question in this step 2. Uh, why are two MAC addresses associated with one port? Okay, here you can see that. Uh, here is a port fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 and fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 yes so this is associated with one port so coming to the topology here we can see uh, these uh, laptops are connected to access points and uh, this access point and this access point is uh, connected to switch using uh, one port so that's why it is showing that uh, one port there now we will come to part 3 examine the ARP process in uh, remote communications Step 1. Generate traffic to produce ARP traffic. Click 172.16.31.2 and open the command prompt. Enter the pink 10.10.10.1 command. Type ARP space minus A. What is the IP address of the new ARP table entry? Right. We will verify this now. Uh, we will come to 172.16.31.2 and its command prompt. Now we are going to ping to, okay, right, we will type it, ping 10.10.10.1, we are going to press enter, yes, we are getting the replay, right. Now we will uh, type uh, ARP minus A, coming to that, here we are going to give ARP minus A and here we can see that 172.16.31.1 yes we will come to the next enter ARP minus D to clear the ARP table and switch to simulation mode repeat the ping to 10.10.10.1 how many PDUs appear so obviously it will be 2 because we are clearing the ARP right we will do that uh, command prompt here we are going to give a r p minus d and we will uh, switch to simulation mode and we are going to ping again yes yes here we can see that one is uh, icmp and another one is uh, a r p yes 
Next is uh, click capture or forward. Click the PDU that is now at switch 1. What is the target destination IP destination address of the ARP request? Right, we will check that. Capture or forward. Yes, it goes to switch 1. We are going to open that. And here we can see the destination IP address 172.16.31.1. Here we can see this address, uh, this destination address 172.16.31.1 is the IP address of uh, this interface on a router 1 that is gigabit 0 slash 0. Yes, here we can see that. Yes. Now we will come to uh, G. The destination IP address is not 10.10.10.1. Why? Yes, just now we have seen that it shows uh, uh, the IP address of uh, uh, this uh, router interface. So that is nothing but the default gateway for this network 172.16.31.1. So the gateway address of the router interface is stored in the IPv4 configuration of the host. If the receiving host is not on the same network, the source uses the ARP process to determine a MAC address for the router interface serving as the gateway. Now we will come to uh, step 2. Examine the ARP table on router 1. Switch to real time mode. Click router 1 and then the CLI tab. Enter privilege to exit mode and then the show MAC address table command. How many MAC addresses are there in the table and to why? Right, we will verify that now. Now we will move to the real time and now we will come to router 1 CLI. Yes. So here we are going to give the show command show MAC. Right. Yes, here we cannot see any MAC address in this table. So this command means uh, something completely different than the switch command uh, show MAC address table. Yes, that's why. Now we will go to uh, C, uh, enter the show ARP command. Is there any entry for 172.16.31.2? Right, we will verify that. Here we are going to give show ARP and uh, we are going to check for 172.16.31.2 yes here we can see the entry and uh, here is our last question uh, what happens to the first ping in a situation where the router responds to the ARP request obviously it times out well, uh, in this packet tracer activity, we examined the ARP table. So that's all in this packet tracer activity. Uh, friends, if you have any doubt, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb. And don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into your Gmail. Thank you.